Yeah, we done knowing it's not as lost that as a power, letting y'all know we changing the hood. We turn into a community one step at a time from the audio to the power to raising the kids to show them what's right, what's wrong, what to do, what not to do. Yeah, this Smurf Live at Boss Status. You know, we're trying to support the community. We're Rick and Carl Stereo and Custom. You know, we're just trying to do everything positive. I change my life, anybody can change. So, you know, come out, support, give back to the community. It's better to give than receive, because when you give, you always receive. So, you know, I'm not trying to preach, but I used to be the one out there bad. So, now I change my life so anybody can change. So, you know, just come support us at Boss Status. Anybody, you know, support Ricky. We also have a new store in the Esplanade Mall. It's in the same Madison Avenue. Come out, support. That's all we're trying to do is change everybody's life one step at a time. Much love, peace, and happiness. Yo, get this. Pepperoni and Ronnie Red got the best people in town. Hot peace out! Hot sauce! Hot sauce! The hot sauce! Peace out! We got it. We keep it real. We like a hot sauce going off the grill. And we like the fat man pizza. Hey. Fat man pizza. 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 Fat man <laughs> we got the race. Shout out to Pepper Pony Race. Hey, hey Pepper Pony Race. Hey, Pepper Pony Race. Pepper Pony Race. My name is Walimu Johnson. I was born Leonard Johnson. However, I've had the name Walimu since 1969. It's a Swahili term that means teacher, and we took on names that had some significant other than a label. And at that time, that's what I was doing, teaching. And relative to the program and the youth, well, there's a saying, the future belongs to the ones who prepare for it. And of course, our youth are our future. And since we have an obligation to help prepare them, we have to make sure first that we are prepared to take on that type of responsibility. And I feel that it's commendable what you and others are doing relative to our youth because there's so much misdirected energy and we are constantly pointing the finger claiming who is responsible. And even some so-called knowledgeable or educated individuals, I've already said by them too often that the youth have messed up the world. Well, if the youth have messed up the world, how do we explain that the youth were put in a situation to be able to mess up the world? Those who are on the stage first have a responsibility to ensure that the next set of performers don't stumble and fall into the pitch that this system has established for us all. So my feeling is that relative to the youth, they're what's happening today, they have been what's happening, and they will be what's happening tomorrow. It's up to us to ensure that they are properly prepared to do it. All right, how y'all doing? We had certified barbershop. You know, all I want to say, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to, you know, speak out for the kids in the community, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I just feel like you put out your money, you know, to put a car on the corner to set up the little children. They ain't nothing but kids, they're teenagers, so they don't know no better. But you waste your money and you put your money into these cars to try to set them up to steal them. But we need more parks out here. We need more parks in the east. We need a little bit more things for the kids out here than to trying to set them up and send them to jail. That's how I feel, you know? Stop the violence, straight up, you know what I'm saying? You know, we gotta unify, we gotta, you know? Everybody, we need to unite with each other, you know what I'm saying? Everybody won't just be the man and won't, you know what I'm saying, won't do negativity stuff, you know what I'm saying, we, we just got to keep it positive, make sure we raise the kids right, you know what I'm saying, we ain't got enough fathers going out there supporting their kids when they go and play pop ball, stuff like that, you know what I'm saying, so for the 210, we just going to try to work on just being positive role models for the kids and our youth, and our urban youth. Hi, I'm Neil from Old Time Auto Salon. I think we need to do some more parks around the neighborhood for the kids, keep them out of trouble. They skateboard in the in the street and playing ball in the street. We need to get some parks going around. There. Make sure that our children have something to do in the afternoon when they get out of school. Right now, we just they they hanging in the street. They doing nothing. Ain't got nothing else to do. Ain't got nowhere to go. Once they get out of school. They just basically hanging out. During the summertime, we got our children just hanging out. No parks open, no swimming pools for them to go to. We ain't got nothing for our children to do. 
We need to make sure that when they get out of school, they have something to do. That's what I think we need to do. Another thing we got to do is we got to change and redefine success in our household. We 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 gotta we we gotta become so caught up in material things to where we don't really understand what success is. You know, if, if you don't have that binge, you're not successful. If you don't if you don't have on a, the, the the polo shirt, you're not successful. Ralph Lawrence never came in, in our hood or in our community. He never donated time and here figure. They didn't donate no money to our community. We right here in the southern wall. We don't have a park or nothing. Uptown or downtown. We got to realize that we successful for any goal you achieve in life. We got to start worrying about the escalades and worrying about our children's grades. We got to we gotta stop accepting. We got to stop selling. The youngsters, we got to go down there to City Hall and we got to make them do what they supposed to do. We, we voted them in office. They have a job to fulfill within our community. And that's, that's what we have to do to take, save our community as a whole, redefine success in your household for you and your kids. Peace, it's Brother Lionel King from the Imani Temple number 28. And one of the things I think is needed in this city is that we have to get black men to be men again and stop being overgrown boys. And that comes when we take leadership within our youth and train them on how to be men, train them how to love, honor, respect, and protect our black woman because the life and death of a nation is through a woman. So we gotta learn how to be better. So I went to women, Tupac even said, you know, if we don't, we'll have a race of men that hate the ladies and make the babies and uh, will not respect, honor, and protect them. And if you can see, our women are going around dressed all uh, floozy-like. Our brothers disrespect them in the language we use towards our women. Our, our young children don't know how to even respect their mothers even because their mothers have not demanded respect because the men in their lives have lacked to play the role in which a man should play. We had to stop the violence, had to educate ourselves, get into our Bibles, get into our Quran, and get into ourselves, love ourselves, know ourselves, be ourselves, respect ourselves, and we then will be respected as true human beings on the face of this earth. Peace. Assalamu alaikum.